good is your eyesight? Do you ever wonder how good it is compared to the rest of the animal kingdom? We make a lot of assumptions about how our pets see the world, but what do we actually know about how animals' vision compares to humans? Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Since we can't ask a goldfish how many fingers we're holding up, researchers had to find another way to figure out how animals see the world. Scientists can track visual acuity across different species by identifying the anatomy of light-sensing cells in an animal's eye, or by performing visual behavioral tests. But sight is more than sensing light. That's just half of the equation. Vision requires neural circuits, or more simply, the brain has to process the complex patterns of light the eyes absorb. Even though we have a good idea of what visual information an animal can take in, how sharp the world looks to them is still an educated guess. We'd have to see it with our own two eyes. Speaking of, why do most animals have pairs of eyes? Why do we need two? I think I could rock a Cyclops look. Hey, graphics guy, can we try it? Okay, you could have just said no. Vertebrates usually have two eyes. These are your mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and amphibians. Though a handful of these species have a secret third eye atop their head, which is not only light sensitive, but also regulates their body clock. Having two eyes helps with calculating distance, depth perception, and provides a wider field of view. Prey animals, like horses or deer, have monocular vision, with an eye on either side of their head, combining to create a wide field of vision to watch out for threats. Predators, like lions and us humans, have binocular vision, meaning forward-facing eyes. These two eyes on the front of their head creates an overlapping field of vision for increased depth perception and accurate hunting. Mother Nature has elaborated to create eyes in many different shapes and forms, which scientists have classified into two main types, simple and compound. You're probably more familiar with the simple eye structure, since that's what you and I have. This type of eye has a single chamber with a concave retina in the back of the eye and relies on one lens to see. A lens captures and focuses on light to send to the retina in order to create a clear image in the brain. Insects like dragonflies have something called compound eyes, which consist of many smaller lenses all clumped together. These multi-directional eyes give them a 360-degree view of their surroundings without even moving their head. If a simple eye is like a high-definition television, then a compound eye is a wall of screens in a video surveillance control room. Each individual screen isn't much detail, but a sudden change in movement is obvious enough to notice instantly. It really makes you wonder why there aren't more insect security guards. But even with all those lenses, simple eyes still produce a clearer image resolution than compound eyes. Now, let's talk about color. It's a common misconception that animals only see in black and white, though at nighttime, that is pretty much the only option. Human retinas have two types of photoreceptors for processing light into vision, rods and cones. These photoreceptors turn light into nerve impulses that the brain processes to give us information about our surroundings. Rods rule peripheral vision and help us see in low light while cones are responsible for vision at higher light levels, helping us see fine details and deciphering colors. As a rule, if a vertebrate can see in low light, they can't see color at the same time. It's a one or the other situation. Except for frogs and toads, their eyes actually have a third type of cell that combines the low light sensitivity of rods with the color capabilities of cones, so they have full color vision at night. Many, many animals see better at night than we do primarily because they have a light reflective tissue right behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum. You've probably seen the tapetum lucidum in action. It's why your cat's eyes look like they're glowing when you shine a light on them. Cats, dogs, horses, cows, ferrets, and lots of other species use it to reflect light onto the retina, making them able to see not only better, but more efficiently in the dark. Contrary to popular belief, our dogs see a wide array of colors, just more similarly to a human with red-green color blindness. Dogs have two cones, blue, and another that falls between the human red and green cone. So now you know why that blue toy is your dog's favorite, though they're more likely to prefer an object's smell and texture rather than its color. I wish I knew that before I showed my dog all those black and white movies. Although she was weirdly into Psycho. 
When it comes to the vision of the animal kingdom, scientists draw conclusions from eye anatomy and by studying behavior. And while we may have information on their rods and cones and what an animal's eyes can detect, we'll never know exactly how the world looks to them. It can get pretty philosophical. Do I see the world in the same way a sloth does? Do we even see the world the same way as each other? Maybe, but we'll never know for sure. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.